bright light said it gonna set my soul Gonna set my soul on fire Got a whole lot of money that's ready to burn So get those stakes up higher Hi, I'm Steve Troy, the CEO and founder of Arrow Fund Financial. William A. Clark yearned for more in life, so in 1863 he left his hometown of Collinville, Pennsylvania to become a miner in the Colorado Rockies. Tired of tolling away in the quartz mines with little to show for it, Clark moved north to Montana to see if he could strike it rich gold mining. His claim didn't earn much, but what he did earn, he invested in other lines of businesses. Clark was a fur trader, a mule team driver, driving and selling eggs between Salt Lake City and the boom towns of Montana. You can make good money working three jobs. It just wears you out. And so it did William A. Clark. Giving up mining, Clark took his savings and became a banker. Well to do but not yet wealthy, Clark made one bad loan after another to miners. One such loan was a copper mine in Butte, Montana. The miners who defaulted didn't know it at the time, but they had just inches away from one of the largest copper discoveries in the United States. Now it belonged to Clark. Millions upon millions of dollars flowed from the Montana copper mine, making Clark the copper king, one of the richest men in the United States. Clark was a well-educated man with a law degree to boot. He was able to parlay those copper millions into even more millions, eventually owning power plants, railroads, trolleys, newspapers, and a small real estate development in Nevada called Las Vegas. Yes, Clark County, Nevada is named after him. Clark was one of those men who enjoyed his fruits of his labor, and so he did building one of the largest mansions ever constructed in the United States. His first still stands in Butte, Montana, as others in Santa Barbara and Connecticut. The largest ever built is also in New York City, now long gone. Clark passed away in 1925, leaving his $300 million fortune to his wife and daughter, Uget Clark, who lived her last 20 years of life in a hospital even though she wasn't sick, leaving those Clark mansions empty for the best part of the 21st century. And that's a story for another day. If you know someone who could benefit from Aerofund Financial's accounts receivable services, take a minute and give us a call. Oh!